We're back here on this Razorback Nation one-hour special all about Arkansas football coach Brett Bielema. In truth, this all began when we learned Bielema, the new coach of the Hogs, grew up on a hog farm. Seemed like a great story to tell. When we journeyed to Prophetstown, we thought we'd get to see the farm where Bielema spent so much of his youth. That happened, but not exactly the way we expected. Still, though, that hog farm is a big part of who the new head hog is. I always think of the show that uh, I can't remember. Boss Hog was the uh, Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard, you know. <laughs> and when he took that job down there, and I thought, yeah, somebody put that correlation together, you know, from growing up on a hog farm to being Boss Hog, you know. <laughs> I think it's a fun thing to, to spin that way. Um, there's no doubt about it. And, and there's been obviously a lot of references to that from, from this point forward. I'm sure when he came down there and could see the hog emblem. I'm thinking, he's thinking, this is my cycle, this is to be, you know, and everything. So we really, yeah, I think he'll fit in just great. A lot of people maybe wouldn't want to be the coach of the hogs, you know, maybe there's something out there that's a little bit sexier or whatever, but I love it. It's, uh, it's what Arkansas is all about, it's what I'm all about, and I think it matches together pretty well. My dad taught us how to move pigs from pen to pen or down the lot. You just go, so, 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 so. We hollered, woo -wee, woo -wee. That was what we called, I haven't got a voice anymore. <laughs> Absolutely, every day, hundreds of times a day, 100%. Never put the pig on front of you, just go, so, 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 so. You know, uh, a couple other words probably interjected in there as well. The way we used suey was when we were driving them. So try to load them on the truck or mm -hmm. move them from pen to pen. Then to come full circle and have Woo Pig Suey be part of our battle cry is pretty unique. After Brett left for college, Arnie no longer had the manpower to run the farm, so he sold it. The new owners bulldoze nearly everything. All that remains are a wide open, barren field and a decrepit ghost of the house where the Bielamas raised their family. Kind of sad. You know, I'm glad we're not living there because I enjoy our condo and everything. But, uh, you know, it's just a way of life that's gone. Been away from it long enough, I guess it doesn't, it kind of bothers me in a way, but just realize that 80 acres of farm ground, why just that doesn't exist as a farm anymore. Grew up there, and, you know, you, you learn to be very creative, just you and your brothers and sisters, and, and we didn't have a lot, uh, you know, a lot of uh, things going on. We used to, you know, get creative and ride shovels down snow hills, and, and I remember uh, for Christmas getting work boots and sweatshirts and gloves and shovels and thinking that was really cool, uh, you know, and that, that was a really big deal. Little did I know that everybody else was probably getting video games and cool stuff like that. I just kind of thought that's what it was and I was appreciative of it. Um, so I think you probably learned uh, to appreciate the, the things in life that really truly do matter, um, uh, that, that, that make a difference in how you, uh, how you look at life. The farm may be gone, but the blue collar lessons it taught Brett are forever chiseled into his personality. If you got time enough to do it the second time, do it right the first time and save the time. Get the job done and get it done right and as expedient as you could, you know, and I mean, and it, and whatever it took to get it done. You know, never skip a step to get to where you want to be. Um, you know, kind of like building a team. If you, if you skip a few steps along the way to get to a championship, you may get there momentarily, but it will never last. So I think to build the thing up from foundation level forward is very, very important. I remember one time we were bailing, and I rolled his fingers through the bail elevator. Brett, being Brett, grabbed the chain like this. He jerked his fingers into that sprocket. <laughs> and his fingernails were hanging off, off off of two fingers. When I came up with the next load, way, one of the guys come out. Marty, you won't believe what Brett did. The what? He says he took his pliers out of his pocket and jerked his fingernails off. He just kind of ended up yanking them off and put a pair of gloves on and went back to bailing, you know, throwing bales around with us. So. He was bound and determined, I mean, to get get the job done. He just had them wrapped in gauze and put them back in his gloves and went about his business. You know, I mean, that that was the toughness that kind of is ingrained in you, you know, and stuff like that way. You still see that toughness in him? Oh, yeah. That hard quality plays well into football, but Brett Bielema's not just a one-note song when it comes to emotions. 
We don't dare sit by each other at a funeral. <laughs> we better get a non-crier in between us. That big tough guy is also a big softy, it turns out. Find out why next.